Hi guys, uh, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. Uh, guys, in this video, we'll focus on top 10 knock network engineer interview question and answers. So let's uh, quickly start with question number one. Uh, guys, this question number one is a very important question and which is faced by each and every candidate, whoever is attending an interview. So this question goes like, tell us something about yourself. So to answer this question, start with a uh, short description uh, related to your education and your personal information. Tell your name, tell your education from where you have completed your bachelor degree, from which university in which year you have completed. Uh, tell the interviewer uh, what is your domain or what are the skill set you have. If you have a skill set of routing switching, you have knowledge of nexus, load balancers or security. So specify that thing. Uh, tell about your current organization, how long you're working with your current organization. Uh, tell about uh, your previous organization. Tell about your uh, total years of experience. Tell about some challenges you have faced and how did you overcome the challenges, the achievement you have achieved uh, so far in your career. Uh, guys, I would recommend that, you know, before going to an interview, always thoroughly go through the uh, JD, that is the job description, which the HR send you before the interview. So once you have uh, gone thoroughly through the job uh, description, you will have a better idea how to convince the interviewer uh, that your skill sets are matching with the job description. And a very important point, guys, which I have mentioned the last, that do not lie to the interviewer. Because if you lie to an interviewer, he'll catch you by simply asking some basic questions and answers. Some, uh, sorry, some basic questions. And if you fail to answer those questions, you will definitely fail the interview. So guys, do remember that do not lie to the interviewer. Let's quickly move to the second question. How to find the uptime in Cisco router? Uh, guys, to find out the uptime in a Cisco router, there's a command uh, or a show version. So this command basically give us the iOS version, which is uh, present in the uh, router and also the uptime of the router. Question number three, where and when would you use IP config command? Uh, guys, IP config command is used on computers to find out the IP address of the computer, the gateway assigned to that computer. And also it gives information related to the DNS IP addresses which are assigned to the computers. I have mentioned this question because in a couple of times I have faced this uh, question when I was having an experience of one year or two year and I was looking for a job change. So uh, that is the reason I've mentioned this uh, interview question. Uh, let's move on to question number four. Uh, what is a TCP three-way handshake? Guys, uh, if you have ever attended any any network interview, uh, you might have definitely come across this question. This is a very important question and a very simple uh, question to be answered. That what is TCP three-way handshake? Guys, a TCP three-way handshake is nothing but three steps which are required to form an TCP connection. Uh, I can explain you with help of a diagram. So let's consider this as a client and this as a server. So the client needs to establish and a TCP connection with the server. So the client will send something known as SYN to the server. This is will be the request for the TCP connection. The server will uh, respond back with uh, SYN ACK. Uh, SYN will be its own message that is from server to client and ACK will be the response for the SYN sent from client to server. Then the client will uh, send back an ACK which will be the acknowledgement for the SYN sent from server to the client. So in this in this way, in this three steps, uh, TCP connection gets established. So the first message is SYN, that is from client to the server, then the server send SYN ACK and the, then the client send the third step, the client sends ACK. So SYN, SYN ACK and ACK. Let's move to the next question. Question number five. How can you check the connectivity between a source and a destination server? Uh, many times the interviewer can confuse you by giving some scenario. Uh, it will show some servers and uh, some routers 
in some location and the destination in some other location and check how can you check the connectivity all the stuff between the source and the destination server so the simple answer to, to, to this is always remember that you have two tools to check it one is ping and the other one is trace route ping will give you layer 3 status from of the connectivity between the source and the server and trace route will give you the path the l3 path uh, along the from the source to the server so guys to remember ping and trace route what is the proxy server and benefits of using proxy server so guys a proxy server is a server that uh, acts as an in intermediary for the request from the clients which are uh, seeking some resources from the other servers i'll try to explain uh, this with an example uh, consider an organization's lan connectivity this is the users and they are in the lan and here we have the proxy server within the organization and this organization is having some internet connection and assume there is a server which this which this users needs to access users are nothing but the clients the clients needs to access some server on internet so when this clients want to access this server the client will send and request to the proxy server and on behalf of the users the clients the proxy server will send a request to the server and the server will also reply back to the client through the proxy server so this is a proxy server so proxy server is basically is a server that act as an intermediary for the request from the client who are trying to access some services on a remote server so what are the benefits of of this proxy server the uh, major benefits of this uh, proxy server is security because uh, i've mentioned this point number 2 here because uh, the proxy because of the proxy server the clients gets hidden hide behind the uh, proxy server and they anonymously access the services of the desired service which actually adds to the security of the client so the client's ip address the client's identity is not exposed to the internet because the requests are going to the proxy server a uh, network administrator can capture the logs can see the logs can see what the users are actually accessing on the internet or on on any pl uh, public network or any network uh, before which proxy server is actually connected a network administrator will have a better control because of the proxy server on what to allow and what not to allow uh, even some clients who want to access some unrestricted uh, sorry some restricted service or the services can be can be accessed by using or by allowing it them on the proxy server question number 7 how to check a router's utilization and also check the current processes on the router uh, this is a question uh, which is normally asked i face this uh, question number of times maybe four to five times that how can you check and routers utilization what is the command so the command is show processes cpu history uh, this command basically shows you the utilization for the last 5 minutes for the last 60 seconds or i think so for the last 72 72 uh, hours also so this is a very important command so this is for utilization show processes cpu history and what are the processes which are uh, currently running on the router or the processes which are shooting up the cpu utilization uh, to know that the command is show processes cpu sorted so they will give you uh, all the uh, processes which are currently running and the memory the cpu utilization whatever they are utilizing currently on the uh, routers you will come to know question number 8 what is the criteria for the best, best uh, sorry for the path selection of the router for the path selection of the router when the router have uh, multiple routes to reach a particular destination the router goes through this uh, criteria the very first criteria is the prefix match um, if it have multiple routes and all the routes uh, out of the routes the whichever route is having the longest prefix match that route will be the best route and that will be that will be going to the routing table of the router 
so uh, the first criteria is the uh, prefix so whoever is having the longest prefix match will win if all the routes are having same prefix then the criteria goes on the ad value so one which is having a minimum ad value will win if in case all the routes are having same ad value that is all the routes are getting learned via same routing protocol then the selection goes on the metric value so whichever route is having the best metric will be selected as the best route and will be inserted in the routing table of the router so these are the criteria for the path selection of the router this is again an important question which uh, which is normally asked in the interviews so guys do remember longest prefix match then minimum minimum ad value and the third criteria is the best metric value question number 9 how to make a l2 switch accessible remotely uh, guys l2 switch is a switch where you can't assign an ip addresses to the interfaces all the interfaces act as l2 and your ip addresses are layer 3 addresses that is the l3 addresses so how can you make it accessible how can you give an ip address and make it accessible uh, for an l2 switch so the answer to this is by create the very first step is by creating uh, and svi or management vlan on l2 switch uh, giving an ip addresses ip address to that uh, svi configuring a default gateway to the l2 switch uh, by enabling the ssh or terlet on the device and then by using any third party tool like uh, putty or uh, teratum we can access the switch remotely also so guys uh, do remember that we need to first create an svi given default gateway and enable the ssh and telnet services on the l2 switch let's move on to the next question that is the last question question number 10 why we should hire you as a knock engineer the the answer to this question is again you should have a very good uh, thorough knowledge about the job description which the hr has given you so if you have uh, that job description good knowledge of the job description and if you are trying to convince and if you if you are winning in this uh, uh, like you have you have won in uh, convincing the interviewer that your skill sets are actually matching with the job description your your work is almost done the job is almost done uh, but again there are many candidates in the interview which are having more skill set which are having more experience as compared to you so guys always whenever you are appearing for for a knock knock engineer interview i try to uh, show that you have a lot of confidence uh, try to answer your 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 questions by a lot of uh, passion a lot of energy uh, show a lot of confidence uh, your confidence is something which will uh, which will get you clear the interview guys uh, if you uh, want this uh, interview questions uh, i have uh, put this interview questions on my on my blog i just show you uh, this is my blog amar uh, www.amartextup.com you can just uh, go here in interview stuff and you can get these are the basic questions so i have uh, make in category of the basic uh, question so here are the questions so which which we have discussed uh, in this video so you can have a look at this also i'll come up with uh, another video uh, with in which i'll uh, i'll focus on uh, knock in uh, engineer interview question and answers for advanced level also so for that guys uh, please do subscribe my channel amar text up uh, uh, please do on the notification because uh, whenever i'll upload any video you'll come to know you'll get a notification for that so guys uh, if you really like this video please do share this video please do comment on this video i'll come up with more and more videos uh, in the coming um, weeks so guys uh, please uh, subscribe to amartextuff and thanks for watching meet you in the next video thank you